Good morning everyone and welcome back to Hearthstone where we are playing another Reno deck and this time Reno Warlock. Actually I don't think for this series I've even played a Reno deck before but uh, for the last seven roll I made a Reno Mage deck and I kind of got me thinking about uh, about Reno decks in, in general and um, what I most enjoy about Reno decks is uh, <clears throat> It's the uniqueness. Uh, there, you, you can really give your own flair to the deck by, by just adding some pet cards, uh, which I like a lot. Um, I know not the all, all Reno Warlock. Oh, uh, oh wait, Hunters. Grant. Um, yeah, Hunters are not pretty. Uh, you, this deck is known to, uh, to life tap a lot. Um, keeping Reno here is probably a good idea. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but this should provide for a decent start at the very least, so, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see about it. Oh, that could be interesting. <clears throat> that probably means it's not a very aggressive. Uh, it might still be. I don't know why you would run... Huh. Why would you run that in a hunter deck? That must mean it's it's some kind of gimmick deck, I think. Maybe some sort of death rattle hunter or hat rattle. It's it's something odd. There's there's something fishy here for sure. Um, can we afford? Yes, we we probably should life tap here. And I'm a little less afraid of it now that he does not have his own hero power. So that uh, that does make a difference here. And I'm tempted to actually... Oh, well, he, he can also life tap, of course. That's interesting. Oh, we should uh, we should definitely coin out one of the fours right now. Mm, let me think about this. We're definitely coining, but I think Refreshment Fender will do just as fine. And I don't really see... Uh, I don't really see the Drake being that much more useful. This this is really puzzling. <laughs> it might just be something really unique. Maybe a Reno Hunter or something. But that's that's usually the, the thing I say when I when I encounter a deck I'm <laughs> not familiar with. It's probably a Reno deck anyway. Um and most of the time it's actually true, so then yeah. There, there is some merit there. Um, I think we can safely play a Drake here. Although getting the implosion out might also be valid. Actually, I don't hate implosioning here. Um, that is not awful. I. Well, I could have done that first, but uh, yeah, if this is explosive, then that's really unfortunate. But I don't really see him running explosive with a, with a deck like this. If he's running Tomb Spider, then I uh, I would be really surprised if there's an implosion coming there right now. And this this does mean that he cannot get rid of the uh, of the vendor with the mad scientist, which is definitely something. I can get rid of snakes. I can basically clear board if this is uh, if this is snakes. Uh, well, well, not entirely, of course. Hmm. I could. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'll Argus here, but first I probably want to make this trade here. All right, it's bear then. Interesting. Um, if it's bear, then I would like to not trigger it yet. I'm a little bit puzzled. Um, so let's let's not make any sort of movements. Just do it this way, I think. It might still be explosive, but that that doesn't seem too likely to me. I'm really puzzled here. Maybe just some kind of beast aggro to it. Mid-range deck with Finley. This this does not make any sense to me whatsoever. Um, might as well kill that. Or do I silence it? It's not a bad target, to be honest here. 
I think I actually like that. And then I can... I mm. could Argus. Argus. Argus is not great. I think I'll trade this one in, actually. No, let me, let me just Drake. Silence this one. Trade this in. And I think still no face. If it's a bear, then that would be unfortunate, I guess. If he unleashes now, that's also unfortunate. But I, I wouldn't like losing all these minions here. And he's not playing like he's got explosive, to be honest. Have I hear power yet? Uh, I, I don't think it's uh, it's the new dart trap thing or something. No, I, I have a hard time believing that. So what 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 can we expect here? Should should I have saved the Drake for the Bran? Well, we can Bran and uh, and defend the next turn. That's actually pretty good. Okay, is there a trade coming here? There is a trade coming here. Okay, so I think Owl goes face here. <clears throat> so we can trade for the um, for the Owl and trade for the Bear, and that should be nice enough. Um, that's really awkward. Um, I just hope I don't run into... Well, if I want to prevent that, then I can just... No, I, I, plan, on, I plan on trading now, so I guess this is fine. Yeah, that was, that was not going to be anything but their trap. Um, so what do we do here? I don't dislike the brand play still. I could also just boom. I th think that's probably better. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I think so. Okay, okay. Uh, that's that's a big unleash. Um, that was... Oh, that was a Tim Spider. Okay, okay. That's, uh, that's not bad for him. Uh, or is he overdrawing? No, you know he's not, right? No, no. Okay. Okay, interesting. Um, so is he killing... He is killing the bots. Alright. Oh, that's... Uh, that's pretty good for me. Just, uh, just the spider left. I don't have an issue with that. Not at all. Um, do we brand hair? Uh, brand hair is not the worst. I can draw some cards. That's uh, that's entirely okay. And he's not really contested on the board, so that's also good. I, I cannot use the Argus with it, but I think that's fine. I'll take the power overwhelming here. That might be useful. And well, that's not going to happen, is it? Um, let me think. Maybe just the Squire. The squire is probably the most useful here. Let's tap and let's actually play the Squire. It's not the worst. Let's build up some board. He has already used one only. She has a lot of cards, though. That, that's something to consider. Put this apple on your head. And next unleash coming. Uh, animal companion. All right. I, I bet he's starting to go face right now. He has to be, right? So that's uh, that's seven to. Uh, oh, he's not. Well, the, the killing Ran is probably right. Uh, I'll admit that that's probably the right idea. Um, so how do we easily deal with this? Well, Argus is still pretty good here, right? Uh, is it? Probably is. I, I could use a Bart Claire. That's uh, that's a little unfortunate here. I'll admit. If I Argus this up, um, it will still have taunt, and yeah, I I think I'll just. Heal bot and Argus. Yeah, I think I think that's the thing. Um, so Argus this up. 
kill this. Oh, that's uh, that's a juggler, of course. Uh, but there's there's no real way to deal with that. So I guess that's fine. Deal. Um, that's a lot of minions on his side, which is a little worrisome. But I'm uh, I'm at the big enough high life total to not really have to worry about that. That's okay. Mm, yeah. All right. Uh, we have an ooze for that, so that's okay. Um, might be taking a lot of damage here. Well, he's, he's trading. All right. I wouldn't mind. Oh. Oh, hello. I think we're going to have to port clear here pretty soon. But yeah, um, this is a bit puzzling still. We'll see about that. Oh, oh there's the mind control tech. All right. Sure. That's still pretty good. Um, not the best, but certainly not the worst, I think. Um, can we still kill that, though? I think I'm tapping here. Nah, that's not the target I'm looking for, really. Um, probably use... And probably heal myself? Uh, that's probably the safest bet. Uh, he, he does have... Yeah, I might, I might still die here, actually. Um, but I don't think there's too much I can do about it, unless I played Reno this turn, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I might still be dead here. Maybe I was, I was a little too greedy when I played that mind control tag there. Um, I bet there's something big coming. Interesting, Nick. Interesting. Um, as long as I'm not dead here, I think I'm fine. Um, I'm probably able to play a Molten Giant and a Reno next turn. Because I am expecting... You know, I'm, I'm basically expecting to die here. That's a, that's a big point. Yeah, that's both of them. And seven on the... Uh, alright, alright. That's, that's well played. I didn't really have a way to get rid of the Rhino. And that, that would cause me to die in most occasions, I think. Oh well. Uh, Hunter, Hunter's not, not a good matchup one way or another. So I, I don't feel too, worry, uh, too worried about this. And, um, well. It's good to see, uh, to see a change of pace. Let's give, a, give it a few more tries. Give it a few more games today. Hopefully, not too many hunters, because that's one one of the matchups that's uh, that's a bit ugly at times. Gul'dan versus Thrall. All right, a shaman. I'm expecting another aggressive deck here. Um, Ooze might be important, Demon Wrath might be pretty good, Mind Control Tech. Actually, I think I'll keep both of these. Uh, all of these, is that correct? How, how much does Demon Wrath kill, really, against Shaman? Most of his stuff has 3 health. I don't think it's that good. That seems much better. I think I like it. But I, I'm still getting the Demon Wrath anyway. So, that might be okay. I think I'll give it one tap. Uh, unless he has a really aggressive opener. In which case, I may have to just play Ooze and then deal with it. Mm, well, Ooze is not even that good here, so I think I'll tap. Um, what do I have on 3? I might just have to farce here. I guess that's fine. Oh, just, just lighting my face. Well, yeah. Alright, that's really aggressive. Does screw up his next turn somewhat. So I guess that might be fine. Just just heal face and we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. I expect most shamans to, to trade in the first few turns, but looking at his aggression, that might not be the case, really. Um, so do we implosion here? I might also Argus. That's not horrible. He doesn't have a great way to deal with that right now. Uh, but Argus might be better later, actually. Mm, and getting the implosion out is 
probably a little better. And if it hits for four, that's pretty uh, that's pretty big for me. Oh no, that's not bad. I think I'll still do I still trade that in? I don't think he's going to Of course. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll actually trade here. He might have actually done that himself. I'm not sure here. Um, no extra minions here, so low control tech, not that useful. Um, but Demon Wrath is actually pretty good here. Um, so that's nice. Um, I may actually Dark Bomb one of them. Maybe just Dark Bomb... no. No, there's, there's no real... I, I'm pretty much Demon Wrath in here. Come on, um, and do I actually... I pretty much have to save the ooze here, and I don't really think I can tap. So maybe just do it this way and pass. What do we have here? Um, we can... No, it's uh, still not that great, really. If I did Thunder here and Dark Bomb, how good is that? Um, could also... could also Imp Gang Boss and... Yeah, I think I like the Imp Gang Boss here. I can Argus that up next turn. I'll have to leave one alive, but I guess that's okay. Um, and no sex, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like this. <laughs> I'm expecting a lot of spells to come in the coming turns, so I may have to reno next turn, but that might still be fine. If he floods the bard, then mind control tech might be pretty good. But these are just going to be a lot of spells. Okay, yeah, yeah that's fine. That's fine with me. Um, Argus is going to be... Pretty decent then. I'm not sure if he's actively playing around mind control tech, but he, <laughs> he seems to be succeeding nicely. Um, I might just want to play the mind control tech anyway and just get it out. My seal for I don't hate it. Um, do I? Yeah, I think I'll leave the trog alive for now. That's probably. Probably not the worst. I might die here, but if I survive, I might be fine. As long as I survive this turn, I think I'm fine. I can probably Reno next turn. There's probably a Demon Doom Hammer in his hand, but that, that's not that great on this board, to be honest. Oh, alright, alright. We're in good shape, then. We are in excellent shape. Um, because Reno and Ooze really fit nicely in the same turn, so I, I guess that's game. We're gonna be rich. That is pretty much game. Pretty sweet. And that is why you save Ooze. <laughs> well played. You win this one. <laughs> and that is how you win against shamans. All right. <laughs> I, I just had to survive one turn, really, and he only had five mana. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. It's not like it wasn't going to happen. All right. Um. Let's let's hope to face. Uh, uh, is Druid good? I'm not, I'm not sure if Druid's a good matchup, really. Um, it's probably okay. It's probably okay. Um, no reason to keep the big game Hunter, I think. Refreshing Thunder might be good enough. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's okay. Uh, if, if he double innervates Boom, then yeah, that's unfortunate, but that, I'm just going to have to live with that. 
if it's some kind of egg druid or aggro druid, the mind control tech might be really good. Uh, not holding high expectations here, but uh, it should be okay. Should be okay. Hmm. The sound is a bit loud, actually, but I'm not sure whether you, that's something you can hear. Turning it down a bit. Um, and Chow for our for a start is decent. Not uh, not too happy about that situation. Fender might be helpful, but I think we just tap here and uh, see what happens. Going Fender might be a thing that's going to happen, or maybe just tempo out the mind control tech. If he plays nothing, that's likely to play. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, there's there's definitely something coming. All right, Asher Drake. I, I may want to dark bomb that down. Um, actually, am I that worried? I can still dark bomb it later, right? Um, if I MCT here, well, that's not that's not a good trade. Um, so if I coin a four, do I still? I, I have nothing to play if I coin a four now. I think I'll just tempo out the, M the MCT and see what happens. I, I would have certainly played the Refreshment Planner if I had any other four. Basically an Implosion or... Shredder, Drake, anything basically. Uh, not, yeah, that's not, not, not amazing here. Okay, a six. Emperor, alright. I may, I may have to kill that. I'm, uh, I'm strongly considering it. Um, so if I vendor here... No, no, there's there's no way I can vendor here. I can tap and dark bomb though. And that might be reasonable. Although, if he if I Emperor, then he plays something, he gets... He gets discounts over four cards. I guess it might be fine. So, so what happens if I just Fender and trade... No, that's not good. It's not that good. Mm. How about I coin and loath up? How's that? If I coin loath up... I think I like that better. Um, coin loath up and trade in the, the MCT. I think I like it. Yeah, let's do that. I, I kind of feel bad about leaving up the Emperor, and he does seem to have a slow start, so it might be important to have the discount on the cards in his hand. Um, but I think Fender is really weak, and Dark Bomb is also really weak, because um, it still leaves up the Azure Drake, which I will have to trade against later. It, it's just not that great. Um, that, that is a little unfortunate, I'll admit. Uh, but it's only discount on four cards. I think I'll survive. Um, so what do we do here? Can I even afford to tap? I might be dead if I tap, really. Um, yeah, but that might just be the way it is. If I um, if I dark bomb here, I can do nothing. Okay, I guess we tap. Ooh, that's not really working. Okay, I, I might just be dead here, but that's... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to work with that. I can read on next turn if need be. Um, and if he has combo... well, if he has combo, I'm dead, okay. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. So what can I do next turn? I'm going to need a minion to actually Shadow Flame anything. Um, so that does mean he I, he does not have combo, so that's good. Can I Shadow Flame anything? No, no, not really. So I may just have to Reno here. Well, if he Savage Roars, then uh, then I might still be fine. Reno is the most impressive minion I can get down here, uh, which is a little troublesome. Basically, his whole whole hand is free by this point, uh, so that, that's that's why you don't do that. Yeah, I think we just Reno here and hope to shed a flame on next turn, which might be okay. 
Uh, if you double Savage Roars, then that's 8, and 8 is equal 16, 25. Well, not bad if he double Savage Roars, so that's okay. Um, but he would be able to double Roar and single Force, and that would be unfortunate. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That is, uh, that is actually pretty intimidating. Uh, <laughs> that's a big problem. H how can I should have learned that? He has 20 damage on the board? Oh boy. That is not good for us. Uh, we can big him Hunter and Refreshment Fender. Doesn't feel that good, but it's what we'll have to do, I think. Actually, get some damage off the board and put some minions on the board, I suppose. Oh, by the way, it's Twilight Drake. I should have done that before if I did, but. How important is that? Um, it's less easy to get rid of, I suppose, because he cannot just trade scenarios in. So I guess it's still fine. The, the one extra health doesn't really matter too much. I'm, I'm probably still dead here, but... Shall I oh yeah, that combined with Savage Roar, or maybe... Maybe that's just lethal? Oh, along with Swipe. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh yeah, I am absolutely dead here. Okay, so so leaving that Emperor alive was, uh, <laughs> was a bad play. I, um, I did not consider him playing a Druid there. Uh, which is which is entirely my own fault. That's uh, <laughs> that's really painful. Okay, so that's that's not how you play against Druid. I would probably be better served blaming the Azure Drake alive, and then yeah, yeah, that's okay. Um, I, I gotta work on my Druid game, I guess. That's uh, that's what I can gather from this. Good thing about Reno decks is is that there's usually always an out. Um, I, I could have drawn something like Twisting Nether there, or um, there, there, there would have been ways out. It's just uh, you, you have to think of them. Certainly throwing that. I think against Mage. Um, do, do I keep Hellfire against Temple Mage? I don't think I do. Um, do I keep Vendor? I don't think even Vendor is that great. I mean, I just want some early game. Like an Imkang boss or no, well, Dark Battler is not not the worst. Uh, I wouldn't mind a Zombie Chow or something. I there's there's definite you. cards that are better than uh, <laughs> than than Refreshment Thunder early game, I'd say. Zombie Chow, interesting. Okay, well well I cannot really battler here. Actually, I can. Um, that would allow me to tap and Mortal Coil next turn, which is not terrible. And it does actually... Yeah, let's take the Sergeant here, which might be useful. Um, what kind of mage deck would play a Zombie Chow? Alright, that's basically as expected. Um, that makes no real difference. I guess I'll kill that then. Um, yeah. I guess I'll kill that over the Chow because the Chow can still heal me later. That is fine. Although the 1-1 the one -one is easier to trade away against, but it's uh, it's all okay. It'll probably die to a Demon Wrath later. Ooh. Now that might be a problem. Um, let me think about that. I think I'll just tap, really. Looks like some kind of fatigue mage in that case. In which case I may not want to tap at all, but I just don't have the tools right now. It would allow me to... Hmm. Would allow me to... Hero... No, um... What am I trying to say? I don't know. Oh, it would allow me to heal bots next turn. Yeah. Oh, he may he may play cold lights. Hmm. 
I'm, I'm still a little puzzled. But <laughs> you'll, uh... You'll probably understand why that is. Um, I think I'll dark bomb that and hope to get something out there that I can demon wrath down. Which is not an unreasonable ex expectation, and I think this is a reasonable play. Alright. Would be unfortunate if it were a demon, though. I guess a succubus would still suck, whether it was a demon or not. Okay, so we have the Bran double abusive big game hunter on 7, uh, which does not work on the Death Lord, unfortunately, but works on basically anything else, and uh, that's rather cute. Works on that, but ooh, I may just want to big game hunter that right now. Do I tap along with that? I could also Sylvanas here, but I might be a little worried about my health. I'm not sure what to expect about, uh, of my opponent here. Mm, Sylvanas does pose kind of a threat against the board, I think. So many it's better than... well, I, I do want to tap once more, I think. So this is not unreasonable. Uh, probably should have tapped first, but that's okay. Yeah, it's not the worst. Alright, and if something stays alive, then I can Argus next turn, but I don't really expect that to happen. No, that was kind of obvious. Um, but Belcher next turn should be okay. Oh, it's... I think it's a giant stack. It has to be a giant stack, right? Um, so in that case... Well, Belcher's still pretty good. I could also heal bot. Um, how's that? Uh, I don't like it too much. Maybe low up? Mm. It would force him to actually trade some stuff in, or or commit to the board, and then I can twisting that the next turn. I think I like that. Uh, no taps. I didn't really think about that. Uh, no, I I may have enough cards by now, and I think his deck is slow enough. I do not want to get ahead in fatigue too much. If he doesn't kill this, I can abuse it down this one. That's also... Yeah, I like that. Is he just trading? No, yeah, that would be... No, oh, okay, okay. So I can still abuse of that, and that's... That's pretty good still. In that case, do I Belcher, or do I... I think... Hmm, Hillbot might be better. I could also... Ooh, I like, I like that. I like that much better. Uh, kind of overcommitting though. That switch is... Ooh, that's painful. That is painful. Um, well, yeah, that might, it might be okay, but that's unfortunate. Well, it is a 4-6, so it doesn't dice the flame strike. That's something. Um, and this is the sort of deck I expect flame strikes from. Hmm. So it might still be fine. I'm not sure how much burst to expect from a giant stack. Um, I basically have to kill him in one shot though. Just just get him to like 15, 18 something. Uh, if he if he's on 16 he can play a giant and then... If he has Frost Giants, that's a big, bigger problem now. Hmm. Interesting. So I can bring him down to 19 here. To 17 potentially, but that's not not that amazing. What, what's happening here? Okay. Okay, boom. Boom is okay. So what do I play here? I think I Vendor. And just see what happens if I trade in. I can double them there even. Hmm, how's that? Now Bram will probably die next turn, and I think I need to combine Bram with the Hillbot. So how about I thunder and then trade in the pilot? Maybe kill one of the Boombots first. I think I like that. Let's kill one first. If it hit, if it hits the, the shredder for four, then that's unfortunate. But that's 
Uh, we're, we're going to have to work with that. Okay, so abusive and kill that one. Trade that. And I think that's okay. Um, Flame Strike would almost work clear, but not quite, so that's okay. Mm, would like a bit stronger Bard State, to be honest. We need that one. That is that's not the target you're looking for, I think. Yeah. I, well, well, if he has Flame Strike, he would still play it, right? I'm pretty sure he would. Real question is, do I tap here? That's also interesting. I think I have to get a, a, a real good Bram heal bot off. Um, I might do it at this turn. What, what is he doing? I have 7, I can bring him down to 18. I think that's okay. I do have to add a little bit to the board if I want to do that though. Mm. That's not unreasonable. I, either he has a lot of burst or a lot of giants that he cannot play at the moment. So... Which of the two am I scared of? I think I'll tap. I can add a little bit to the board. I can add a Belcher. I don't think that's too ugly. If I bring him down to 18, I want to be able to kill him next turn. So I can play Mind Control Tech along with this, right? I think that's okay. It might be a little odd, but this does prove to be lethal on board. If he adds a lot of giants, I may have to twist in another or just trade in a bunch, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, okay, that's a, that's a buzzard. Um, so I cannot kill him next turn, but that's fine. Oh, he's... is he presenting buzzard again? I think that's buzzard again. Um, so if that's buzzard again, what do I do? I think playing Sylvanas is not unreasonable here, and I don't think he can kill me next turn, so... Um, yeah, developing some threats is probably the right call. Um, if he if he just pings, then I have three, I have ten, I have thirteen, eighteen. So that would be lethal if he just pings. So that does force out another play. I think I like it. I do have to force his hand, I think. And this does signal another blizzard, I think. That would be kind of unfortunate. How do I deal with this? Hmm, interesting. Is that another blizzard then? Okay, now let, let's think about this. If I shadow flame the 4 2, I can implosion first, right? Uh, that, that's kind of bad, but I think. Yeah, I'll have to share the Flame Sylvanas if I don't. Um, but he's representing another blizzard. Is that... how bad is that? Eh. Uh, I'd rather... <laughs> I would rather give up the Shadow Flame than have everything die, I think. I do still have the Twisted Nether, so that's okay. Uh, yeah, let's implosion and see how much damage it deals. That, that is unfortunate. Okay, so we'll have to Shadow Flame this then. Uh, that, that is unfortunate, I'll admit, because now my entire board dies to Blizzard, but I, he might not have it. He might just be pinging for for the chance that he gets it next turn. I'm not representing lethal anymore, though. I, I have... if he pings one, then, uh, then I have 7, 10, 14, 14 damage. Oh, he's representing sheep. Okay, yeah, that's, that makes sense. 
Yeah, that's that's ugly. I do think I, I had to pressure in there. Kinda bad. Kinda bad. Um let's see. Can we Jerexus? I would like to Jerexus here, but I think I might be dead to a couple of giants, really. Um pumping out six sixes every turn does sound like a good idea, and it doesn't have that that many cards. I do have some healing left. Might be the right call. I don't know. This this might be this might be really bad. But I think I think it's not unreasonable. I can heal up next turn. I do have a taunt. He can he cannot really charge it, so that's okay. I, I might be fine. If he gets more than one giant out, I can twisting nether, and that's okay. I have no time for games. Okay, um, so how do we... Hmm. I think I Drake and just heal up here, right? Sylvanas cannot really... Oh, maybe maybe I heal up and then Drake, so Drake doesn't have... Oh, he's going to steal something. Am I okay with that? I think I'm okay with him stealing something. Um, he's not going to be able to do it this... This. Yeah. Um, so Drake, Drake would get plus. F uh, I think I want Drake to get plus four, so that's fine. Um, heal first, and Drake. Hit face. That's sort of okay. I may, I may have wanted to get double heal value off. Alright, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what his best course of action is here, and I think I can I can survive him stealing something. Um, and if, if he does flood the board, then I may have to twist the nether and just trade in a bunch, and that's okay. Hmm. Okay, is he hitting face here then? Or maybe, maybe just hitting the... yes, he's, he's hitting face, okay. So pinging face too? And I may have to heal bot in that case. Um, yeah, that would be kind of unfortunate. I can hit Sylvanas though. Is that... No, that's not what I want. Um, if he steals something, how bad is that? I think that might be okay, and I can double heal bot here. Um, so if he, if he steals something, I can hit it with my face, right? Right. In that case, uh, whatever it is... No, no, if it's this, then I want to be able to hit it. So I don't think I attack with anything. Except if it's this or this, then I can hit it with my face, so this never needs to attack. I think. Yeah. Okay, it steals this. That's fine. So in that case, I run heal bots and heal power. Does this represent lethal? I have three, so that would be six. That would be six and nine. That would be lethal even without hellfire. I'm expecting that to be ice block though. Um, so can can I kill him if he giants up here? If he pumps out a lot of giants, can I kill him? I think I can. Okay, so do I just set him to one and then... Can I still kill him now? I don't think I can. Um, in that case, I may just have to hero power and pass. If he's unable to play as giants, that's good for me, right? I think that's good for me, so I don't want to get him... I don't think I want to get him lower. <laughs> Let me double check. I cannot kill him here, right? I have 5, I have 9, I have 12. I could kill him if that's not. 
Uh, okay, so let me just check what this is. It's probably ice block in that case, so I think I'll pass. <coughs> um, I don't want to use Hellfire to pop the ice block, so I think that's the main reason here. That is still good. Um, I can still pump out 6-6s six every turn, so that's fine. Ooh, how, how good is Boom here? Do I want to Boom here? I think I do. That does represent a real threat. Yeah, I think I like it. Um, he can he can play a giant and echo it, but that's not that great. He cannot taunt up a giant, and that's the most important thing. So this represents him breaking, breaking the ice block. I do have a weapon and I do have a hellfire, so that's okay. Yeah, I think I like it. Oh, well, well, that would mean if that hits for a lot, then he can play a giant, okay. Okay. And Polymorph, okay, okay, okay. Um, do I twist another here then? I think I do. I can twist the nether and just make a new one, right? Do, so do I pop the ice? Uh, I, it doesn't matter what I do right now. So can I? I can hit him for eight. I can. I can just get him down to one. Okay, that's reasonable. Yeah, definitely doing that. Oh, okay. Uh, well played. I thought. I really thought that was ice block. All right. Well, um, that's enough for now. So hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, <laughs> that was an interesting deck, sure, but surely. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>